So Leslie is the story of um, a woman from West Texas who a few years ago won some money on the lottery enough to make a better life uh, for herself and her son, James. Uh, but she has a struggle with um, drinking and addiction and, uh, and the money went really quickly. Uh, and she, when we find her, she's left the town, she's left her son, she's living on the margins uh, and she quickly slips down, becomes homeless and over the course of the movie is forced to seek help from people that she left behind and ends up back in the small town where she left and where uh, she feels um, uncomfortable and unloved. And it's a story of, of, of her journey towards, um, towards something other than that, her journey towards um, finding something worth staying for. The story is written by um, Ryan Binaco, who, who drew on his own life for, for parts of this, for really important parts of this. Um, he had a relationship uh, with his mother that was uh, equal parts fraught and um, incredibly loving. Uh, you know, as we all do with people that we love, we can hurt them really well. And he was hurt um, as much as anything else. But he has an incredible uh, relationship with his mother and he wrote this movie I think in part to understand her and understand what they went through together and so it has it, it came from life really. One of the films that Michael and I referenced a lot early on and was so pleased to connect over was Wonder, Barbara Loden's Wonder. Have you seen it ever? It's it's really really wonderful. It won Venice in 1970 mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, it's, it's just an ex it's such an extraordinary film, but that that is a portrait of somebody's. It's just almost like a snapshot. You hone in to somebody's life and then just extract yourself, you know. So you spend time with a human and then you extract yourself. And it has this beautifully non-judgmental. It's a beautifully non-judgmental representation of a human, and she happens to be a woman, and she happens not to have her shit together. And um, there's something in the essence of that film, Wonder, that we talked a lot about when we were making To Leslie, um, which was kind of just a side note that both of us were, we were just drawn um, to that film. It's, I think, such a tragedy in film that we over and over again misrepresent human life for the sake of uh, sensational narrative. <laughs> that's often quite predictable um, and not very sensational at all because it follows the same algorithm that everybody's expecting um, and it leaves no room for um, spontaneity or um, innovation. So I think what this is is the portrait of a human and um, it, it doesn't hold back in showing all of the different aspects of what this person's going through and how she might be well or ill equipped to deal with the things that are coming to her externally you know yeah playing playing james was it was it was sort of like finding a balance of you know the 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 boy who who had this i mean it was it was am i allowed to say this it was basically playing ryan um in some ways in some ways, in some it, ways. it wasn't exactly him but it was you know it was he was the writer, and he. The first thing that struck me about the script when I read it was like, this is clearly somebody who's been through this kind of experience and who knows this sort of person, um, and so it was kind of like finding the 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 boy who who had this very close relationship with his mom, and still had that 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 closeness even though it had been lost, and then this guy who'd had to kind of find this shield for himself after she abandoned him and um and sort of balancing those two sides of 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 a person that was yeah um as in as in any project in my advanced age it's uh, is the script good mm -hmm. and the script was amazing and the fact that I got to work with Michael uh whom I've known for a while was was a joy and a pleasure and meeting the, and meeting and working with these amazing actress was another reason. Obviously, you want to work with great people. But um, 
Yeah, main, mainly uh, I go by script now, and it's such a beautiful, beautiful script. Um, my character, Dutch, is one of the reasons uh, Andrea's character doesn't have her shit together, because uh, he was he's a biker slash roofer, uh, a dichotomy in itself. He's uh, a biker, but he's also a churchgoer. <laughs> So there, as as Michael was saying, it's there's people are not one thing; they're they're two, three different things. Um, so I was I was really happy to be able to come and play with these guys. 